Hi there. This story's title is A Walk in the Words by Hudson Talbot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Drawing always came naturally to me. I drew all the time. I just did it like breathing. Every day after playing with my friends, I'd come home and draw stories that I made up. It was like diving into my own world. I liked words too, one at a time. When I was reading, I had to picture every single word. But long sentences? No way! I would start a long sentence and then my mind began to wander. I was the slowest reader in my class. When everybody was turning to the next page, I was still on the first sentence. Nobody knew, but the books knew, and they were coming for me. So many words, so many pages. Books weren't always scary. The first ones were friendly, with big pictures and only a few words. How the But little by little, the picture got smaller and the text got longer. We eat pictures. You read. I could pick out the words that I knew, but the rest looked like squiggles. It was like a vein of terror. My drawing pad was my safe place. A whole page of text looked like a wall, keeping me out. By now, everyone in my class was reading book after book except me. What if they found out that I couldn't keep up? I had to face it. I was alone and lost in a world of words. Everywhere I looked, there were big words, strange words, scary words. One big word was stalking me, overwhelm. It described the feeling of too many words coming me at the same time. It made me want to give up, but I loved stories too much to quit. I was good at picturing stuff. Maybe I could try picturing a way out. I grabbed overwhelm and broke off over, so it just said well. It meant the same thing, but was more my size. Now I could vent the words before they overwhelmed me. I just read at my own pace. After all, it was my walk in the world. I took time for to look for words that I knew. There they were, like stepping stones leading me onward. I jumped over the words that I didn't know, and let the words I knew lead me into the story. After a while, I wasn't thinking about reading. I just wanted to know what happened next. The war between my fear of reading and my curiosity was over. Curiosity won. Books weren't so scary once I got to know them, and now I was beginning to like words. Why wish past them? Read at their own speed. I realized that just because I was slow at reading didn't mean that I had to fear it. I also learned that many great people were slow readers. I honored them all in my slow readers hall of fame, and I tore down that terrible wall of shame. Slow readers savor the story. I experimented with ways to tell my stories. I could still tell a story with pictures, or I could tell it with words. My favorite way was using both. I remembered how my horses got better the more I drew them. My writing would improve too if I wrote every day. A drawing could show what a horse looked like, but with words I could bring them to life. Now they could breathe and snort and carry me on adventures. I read every day in search of new words for my stories. It was like finding new colors for my art, but now I was learning to paint with words. 
There were still times that I felt lost in a sea of words. My drawing pad was still my safe place. Others found music, sports, math, and science. Words had always scared me, but once I felt free to read at my own speed, they became my friends. I could unlock the magic of stories and even become a storyteller myself, turning that sea of words into an ocean of possibilities. Now all I have to do is enjoy the ride. The end. Thanks for watching. For more exciting read aloud stories, please subscribe to our channel Little Hearts Super Kids. Also follow us on Instagram for amazing updates.